I'm Miles O'Brien, and uh, on the occasion of the 40th anniversary of the Apollo 11 landing, uh, I must admit to some mixed emotions. On the one hand, I think back on that accomplishment and uh, all the things that led to that accomplishment and the historical context of the whole event, the fact that it happened in the midst of the Cold War, that it happened uh, to honor the wishes of a martyred president, and the fact that it happened in that incredibly short period of time, all of that just is amazing to me. And I think when the history books are written many years from now, it will stand as, as a singular achievement of the 20th century, uh, not just for the two guys who actually set foot there, but, uh, but for a country that was committed to doing it and for the hundreds of thousands of people that were involved in all of it. What makes me a little bit sad about it is that every time we have one of these anniversaries, I think about what we have not done in the 40 years since. And the fact that we left the moon, the fact that Apollo uh, 18, 19, and 20 were canceled by the Nixon administration, uh, the fact that we had a, um, uh, an orbiting um, space station that was um, in many ways more functional potentially than what we have right now uh, in the 70s, and we let that wither, uh, the fact that we took a, a course in space that, that didn't inspire people the way that moon landing inspired a whole generation, my generation, being a part of all that, uh, makes me sad. It makes me wonder, what's, what are we going to be thinking about in the next 40 years? And why aren't we doing things now that we're going to celebrate 40 years hence? And uh, I think, hopefully, that will gather people's thoughts together and make them think about ways that we can explore in space, reach new milestones, put some new footprints down, and have some other things to celebrate in the future.